you're invading people's privacy. Oh, no, this is a public building. They don't have no expectation of privacy in public. Okay, that's my right to privacy as a citizen. Oh, that's completely wrong, ma'am. Yeah. You are a law enforcement officer. It is a constitutionally protected activity to film law enforcement officers in the course of their duties. You're in there violation of a direct court order. Ma'am, you're in direct violation of that court order, apparently. No, I'm not. <laughs> what I'm saying is it is going to, I promise you, it will turn into a civil rights problem for your department. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today, we're at the Potawatomi County Courthouse here in the great state of Oklahoma. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're just getting inside the courthouse here. We have to pass through the metal detector. Let's take a look around. Our friendly reminder that they're always recording us. Even though it always seems to be an issue and a problem when we record them, let's hope that's not the case here today. Court clerk's office. Can we help you? I'm okay, thank you. May I ask why you're Um, Sure, ma'am, who are you? Oh, I'm just taking some pictures and video. You have to talk to the... Yeah, you need to talk, talk to the court, court clerk before you start doing that. No, I don't need to speak with anybody, ma'am. I'm okay. Yeah, but we need to be on tape. We're, yeah, there's documents and stuff like that. Here. Oh, I don't... I'm not, I'm not trying to get any documents. I'm just... Is there something you're looking for in particular? Um, no, ma'am. Um, who are you? Hi, nice to meet you. And your name? Valerie. My name's Sean. Um, an independent journalist. I'm just taking some pictures and video of the building. That's all. Okay. Did they know that at the front door? Mine? I, I couldn't tell you if they knew or not. Because there's an administrative order in place that states that there's no video or photography unless it's for ceremonial purposes. And that I, includes the entire building. That administrative order was put in place years ago. So the only administrative order, I've, I've never seen an administrative order that that states that you can't record in the publicly accessible areas of the building here. There is Maybe in courtroom. Says, I'm, it says in the I've never room. seen it. Yeah. I've never seen it. I can I can pull it for you if you want a copy of it. Yeah. I don't think I really need it. It sounds like an un if it's if it's stated how you uh, how you just said it, it sounds like an unconstitutional order. I'm just exercising my first amendment right of freedom of press here. Okay. Just gathering content. I was just going to get the rest of these, these signs that you have here posted, and then I'll be done in here, correct? Intentionally, no one may file an attempt to file a sham legal process with the county clerk. Excuse me. Are you videoing? Yeah, I'm taking some pictures and video, ma'am. Who are you? I am Candy Griffin. Candy Griffin? Yeah, and it's you're a deputy? protected. If you, yes, if you'll read the sign down there, it's protected. You can't audio and video. What's protected? It says it downstairs. The building is. Protected against what? Audio and videoing. Why would that be? Is that a law? Because you have people's, you're invading people's privacy. Oh, no, this is a public building. They don't have no expectation of privacy in public. Okay, what are you videoing for? Oh, I'm just taking some pictures and video for um, myself. For yourself? Correct, yeah. No, sir, who are you? I'm Deputy Knowles, part of the county sheriff's office. Deputy, excuse me? Knowles. Knowles. -E My name is Sean. I'm um, an independent journalist. I don't need any assistance at the moment, no. Um, actually, you're in violation of a courthouse order. It's what, what, what courthouse order is that? If you will go downstairs, I will show you where it's posted. It's posted. So yeah, and it's a courthouse order for yeah, yes, against for exercising a constitutionally protected activity? <laughs> uh, in a secured area, yes. We this is not a secured area. You came through the checkpoint to get in, right? Yeah, that doesn't mean it's a secured area. There's some city halls and things that have... But it's posted right on the front of that x-ray machine. Yeah, if you could provide me with the order. Yeah, that's just... Anyone can have that sign. Uh, Not this one. 
Anybody could have that sign this made. Is filed in the district court. Yep. There shall be no cameras, video, digital, or still allowed in the courthouse. Except for ceremonial purposes, cell phones with camera functions may not be used in the courthouse. It says no meters will take place in the city of a courtroom. Yeah, it says so. I can't. Media cannot. Media personnel have the same obligation. That's item B. So you're in violation of item A. So we're going to ask it. You'll please stop recording. Because sir. we do have people on jury duty that are in this building currently, and they don't need to be identified. Given well, I have no idea members. who would be on That's jury fine. duty. It's right. But you're standing you outside of the courtrooms. Yeah. No, no. I'm walking around. Pictures of people okay. coming in and out of yes. offices. Yeah. I'm going to ask you to quit recording. But that, yeah, that 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 sign is unconstitutional. So I have a First yeah, Amendment. Yeah, I have a First Amendment right. Jury duty. Anyone ordered to jury duty has the right to. That not sign is not a law, law, sir. You're, you're, respectfully, you're, that sign isn't a law. You you are a law enforcement officer, correct? I am a law enforcement officer. And that that is not a law that you would enforce. That this that is, that is a policy. We are enforcing this it. Is, that's what we're doing this now. Is a, no, but that's a not a law. Lawful, this is a lawful order through a district court that says they do not wish to have cameras here. So this I've been all court. over. I've been all over Oklahoma, and I've recorded in many courtrooms and court facilities, not the courtrooms. Right. And are, are you here for a ceremonial purpose? Well, yeah. I, I don't have to explain to you my purpose. I can, you know, it could be multi multi purposes. Okay. It could be for I'm a journalist exercising my constitutional rights. Uh -huh. You know, could be a ceremonial purpose. I just don't want to have to. I have. I don't. I, as a as a journalist and as a citizen, just as a citizen, excuse me. I don't have to divulge. I don't have to talk to you. I have a Fifth Amendment right not to incriminate well, myself. People here to have the right for you not to video them. Well, I'm not recording anybody in particular, man. It doesn't matter. It's their civil rights no, it's not, not to be. That's videos. wrong. Okay. Well, you're saying the same thing. You have civil rights. They have civil rights. No, 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 no. They do not. They don't have a right to privacy, man. They do. Respectfully, not. I'm not trying yes, to escalate do. the situation. Yes, they do. They do not have if a right I to like privacy. <laughs> So this is a public school. building. It is a public building. Anybody has access. I, I am obviously not a threat to anything. I went through the metal detector and yes, but nervous. you're in nervous. violation of a direct court order. That would be a and judge. I show you the proof. Yes. A judge. A judge only has purview over judges. The can have purview in the work in that is owned by the county so, that they are appointed to help protect. So you're in violation of a direct court order. So I suggest a, an unconstitutional. Order. It is not. So I just need one. It's an unconstitutional order, sir. Can I get a supervisor here, please? I will go get at least one. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate it, sir. I don't see what they have to hide. So we're asking you. This is more than this is more than just a courthouse, right? There's a county assessor here. And... No, they're next door. Oh, okay. This is just courthouse. Just a courthouse. I just want to confirm with the supervisor because it seems like an unconstitutional policy. You're 100 percent wrong. I know, but you're 100 percent wrong as far as the privacy. There's no right to privacy in public. I don't want you videoing me. You have. That's my. That's my right. I do not want you videoing me. I do not want you to use my image of any kind whatsoever. That's my right. That's my right to privacy as a citizen. Oh, that's completely wrong, ma'am. You are a law enforcement officer. You definitely have no right to I privacy. Okay. It is a constitutionally protected activity to film law enforcement officers in the course of their duties. Okay. Ma'am, you're in direct violation of that court order, apparently. No, I'm not. <laughs> See rules, rules and orders for us, but not for them. That's how that works here. Oh, you took a picture. Yes, you did. Does it usually take this long to speak to a supervisor, sir? Isn't it the sheriff's department policy and procedures that if a member of the public requests a supervisor, you provide one to them? It is. Where's the sheriff's department? In this building. In this First building? Floor. Downstairs? Downstairs, and I've already talked to them. They're aware of the situation, and they're doing their research to make sure that they're adequate in their response. 
Okay, fair enough. That's fair. Fair enough. Hi, sir. How are you? Well, how are you? I'm doing well. Okay. Um, are you supervisor with the Sheriff's Department, yes, sir? Yes, sir. I'm Captain Marcus May. Captain? Marcus May. Hi, my name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I'm just taking some pictures and video of the publicly accessible areas, not in any courtrooms or jury rooms or anything of that nature. Um, your deputy over here came up to me and said that everybody has a right to privacy in public and that um, they showed me the order mm -hmm. and I told them I believe that order to be unconstitutional. Okay. Um, and I was just waiting to hear from a supervisor to see if you were going to enforce that order or or not because I have a First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas and just gather content. I'm not trying to escalate the situation uh, in any way. I'm actually de-escalating. That's why I waited here for you for, you know, I wanted to give you the respect and say, hey, let, let's, let's de-escalate it. It doesn't need to be escalated any more than it already was, you know. I just, I wanted to get the clear picture on what was allowed in the courtroom because I know my rights. Um, this is what I, the same way you took an oath to uphold the Constitution, I didn't take an oath, but my job is to exercise my rights and flex those rights so that way people around the country can see, okay, this is what we can and cannot do. This is our rights. You know, we have to stand up for our rights. And then as law enforcement officers, you know, it's your job to uphold the Constitution and defend our rights. And that's my only purpose here. Okay, so here, here's, and I appreciate you speaking to me in the manner you're speaking, and it, it always happens. Sure, I understand. So again, my name is Marcus May. I'm a captain here at the Sheriff's Office, okay? Uh, I've consulted uh, the District Attorney's Office, and I'm, uh, I'm all for you know, protecting you know, your constitutional rights. I appreciate that. There is a court order uh, that forbids the, uh, the use of videos, uh, video equipment, taking any videos inside the courtroom. Correct. Um, and there is also a, a state statute uh, that forbids entering a public building uh, with the intent to disrupt uh, a government business. And I say that uh, we have a judge that's already spoken with us. Uh, she probably he disrupted a part of her proceedings when he was upstairs uh, filming some juveniles that were waiting to be seen in court. And uh, Oh, no, somebody actually came up to me. And, yeah, Matthews. yeah, sure. And uh, when I, I spoke to the clerk's office, they were in there trying to conduct business. You were in there filming, which disrupted their business. And that's just, that's a violation of uh, state statute, and I give you that statute if you like. Yeah. Uh, do, would you like the statute? Uh, I, I you mean, what the statute is? So yeah, you just. I mean, I would I would like to see the statute as disturbing the, the process because that's not, you know, just like you said, it's you have to intend to do that. That's not my intent at all. And I think that's made clear by the way I'm acting here today and but, the way I'm talking to everyone that I'm coming in contact with. But the fact that we've, uh, we, do you have a copy of that one? Would you like a copy of the court order? Sure. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. So, now that you've been educated on court order forbidding the videoing inside a courtroom, and you're at this point refusing to comply with the order, that would show intent that you are disrupting services. Well, no, I'm, in, I'm not in a courtroom, sir. It's in the courthouse. Okay. The order specific. And you can read it. I'll wait for you to read it. If you no, no, no. I, I've, already, I've read that one. So, uh, once, now that you've been educated that the order has been issued by the district judge, Videoing is forbidden inside a courthouse, and now that you've been educated and refusing to comply with the order, that would have so intent that you're meaning to disrupt services, just as you are now. So, I'm disrupting would, services right now, currently. Absolutely. How would we, I mean, we, you've already disrupted the courtroom uh, per the judge? You've already per the judge, I've disrupted the courtroom. The, her proceedings, yes. There was juveniles waiting to be seen in her court, and uh, you were up there videoing juveniles, according to Judge Mueller. According to what, what was the judge's judge name? Mueller. Mueller. Yes, sir. I, I spoke with the court clerk's office. They said you disrupted uh, their business by filming their uh, their uh, customers inside there. You've been educated on the order. If you refuse to file the order, that's going to show intent and violation of the statute. So I would like to ask you to, to please, you, you can stay in the courthouse if you'd like. You just can't video, okay? It's a public building. You're, you have just as much uh, right to be here as anybody else. But if you continue to video, it's going to show intent to uh, not comply with the order, and we're going to have to, if, if you don't leave, you'll probably be placed under arrest for violation of the order. Violation of the court order? And the state statute uh, of. That, 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 that forbids you to enter a building with the intent to disrupt, which now that you're educated and you're choosing not to comply, that's going to show intent. Yeah. Because you're, 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 you're making intent to disrupt the disrupt. Okay. So, so I would like for you to leave. Right? Yeah. And you don't have to identify with me if you don't want to. Your name is Sean. Yeah, I just told you my name's Sean. Sean. Mm -hmm. uh, 
if you if you if you like to leave and, and like I said, I don't I might not I appreciate you handling it the way you're handling it. Um I will just say that I do have a constitutional right to record in public. I am not disturbing anything whatsoever. Again, there has to be intent and my actions are not disturbing anything. I've been more I'm not raising my voice. I'm not using vulgar language. I'm not getting in the way of people getting services here. So I strongly disagree with that. So at this point though, all I need for you if if all I need from you at this point is to as a captain and a supervisor of the sheriff's department here, are you going to arrest me if I continue to record and exercise my constitutional rights? If you continue to record inside the courthouse and exercise my rights. And exercise your yep. you consider your rights to do so. Which are a violation of the order, you will be placed under arrest. I'm sorry, can you say that again? You will be placed under arrest. Okay, that's all I needed. I just needed standing. Now I can take it to the proper channels and um, hold everyone involved accountable. Would you like to know the statute in which you would be arrested for? I can, I can oh, it, it's not really necessary because I'm not in violation of that statute whatsoever. How do you know if you haven't read the statute? Because it, it, it would require int intent. And I know only, only I know my intent, correct? The intent is shown once you've been educated. We're giving you an opportunity to, to leave and comply with the order. Choosing not to do so, you're... No, well, I'm going to leave. So there's no okay. need for... There's, I'm, I'm going to leave, but I just needed to have that... In court, you need what's called standing in court to, to file a civil rights lawsuit and to hold people accountable and maybe get an order changed. This has nothing to do with civil rights. Yes, this has 100% to do with... Into a criminal matter of violation of no, no, no. This will. This is gonna. No, no. And that's why I, under threat of arrest, I'm going to leave the building. But what I'm saying is, it is going to. I promise you, it will turn into a civil rights problem for your department, the courthouse, the district attorney, whoever it is. Because I will hold everybody involved accountable. Who's it? What's the name of the district attorney? Adam Panter. Adam Panter. And can I get your name and badge number, sir? Fine. Yes, please. Deputy badge number fifteen. And and your name and badge number, sir? Lieutenant Scott Hawkins, badge number nine. Scott Hawkins. Your name and badge number. Stuart Hate. Stuart Hate. Yeah, badge number eight. Oh, badge number eight. Okay. And you have my name, Marcus. I read, yep. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, you guys, you know, politely or not, you violated my rights here today. So, I mean, we'll just out let a court decide. And not this court, which is obviously biased. Okay? okay. Have a great day. Thank you, sir. All right, we're going to get out of here because no one wants to be arrested by these tyrants here. Polite and well-spoken tyrants, but tyrants nonetheless... All right, guys, so you heard it. Under threat of arrest, we were removed from the building and our constitutional rights violated. Look at that, completely insane. You know why we leave under threat of arrest? Because do you think I want some county judge that obviously is a tyrant and some district attorney tyrant who's saying I'm disturbing, causing a disturbance entering a public building, do you really think that I want that tyrant district attorney and that judge deciding my fate and my freedom and my liberty? No. We can have a federal judge who has no connections with the Patsawami County Courthouse and their judge and their law enforcement and their district attorney, an unbiased judge. It's my best, it's my best shot, guys. It's the best shot at affecting real change here. This was ridiculous. Law enforcement officers do not have a right to privacy in public, as that one deputy said. We have every right to f film government officials in the course of the duty. That is case law. This is ridiculous. And like I said, just because the captain was well-spoken and he, and, he, and he talked to me nicely, the threat of arrest is all I need to have standing to file a uh, civil rights lawsuit, 1983 lawsuit against him. The, the, the sheriff's department, as well as the district attorney, for violating my constitutional rights is completely insane. Do you see how they bully you? They bully you and threat, threaten to take your liberty in order to remove you and violate your rights. Completely insane and uncalled for. We're, we, the people, are going to hold them accountable. I, I know we will band together and hold them accountable, not only in the court of public opinion, but in a federal district court as well. As always, guys, let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. Stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.